Thanks for tuning in guys and welcome to Exploratoria. On this channel we go out and about exploring locally here around the Pacific Northwest as well as across the country and abroad. And you know we'll be sampling some delicious tasty treats along the way. So go ahead and click, tap, or yell at one of your kids to figure out how to subscribe right now. Today's exploration definitely had its ups and downs, but it was a beautiful, relaxing day with some incredible and unexpected views. So grab your fire extinguisher and get your marshmallows ready for toasting as we explore the Flaming Geyser State Park today on Exploratoria. Okay, maybe you won't need your marshmallows. But stick with me regardless, this was a fun park. Entering the park, you come across this interesting looking bridge. It's a nice place for a photo op if you're into that. Quick reminder, like all state parks, you'll need a Discover Pass to enter and park your car. If you don't already have one, you can purchase one from the booth at the entrance. You can buy a day pass, or if you're like me and plan on visiting parks often throughout the year, you can get a yearly pass. The yearly ran me 30 bucks and is good for use on two cars individually, not at the same time. Once you enter the park, there's a cool little area where remote controlled planes are flown. Sadly, we didn't get to see any during our trip. The main part of the park is located maybe about a mile or so in. Here they have a play area for the kids and picnic areas. Some of these areas have grills and can seat up to 50 people. My daughter loved this part of the park. She spread her wings and ran all over these wide open spaces. They also have an entrance to the Green River here. We saw lots of groups with their inflatables getting ready to float the river. This was a beautiful spot. Apparently, lots of salmon used to swim up this part of the river to spawn. Unfortunately, due to the settlement of the area, these numbers have dwindled. The park is trying to assist salmon in their journey by doing things like planting spruce trees near the river's edge to create cool, shaded places for the fish to rest. Right past the main park area is the main event. What you've all been waiting for, the piece de resistance, the flaming geyser itself. Now, before I show you what we came across, let's just reflect on that name for a moment. Let your imagination run wild as to what a flaming geyser might look like. Now, what you're imagining is probably pretty close to what we thought we were gonna see. Then we did some research and found this. This is what it was actually supposed to look like according to the park website. Pretty underwhelming, right? but still kind of cool. Now let me reveal what we actually saw. Yep, your reaction is probably the same as ours. We felt cheated. <laughs> the geyser was created in 1914 during a search for coal and apparently the methane that fed the flame ran out some years ago. Since then, the site has been pretty much abandoned. No one comes to this park for its namesake anymore. Needless to say, we were bummed but this park still had so much more to offer. After that disappointing experience, we decided to check out some of the hiking trails around the park. These were absolutely beautiful. The lush foliage accompanied by the soothing sounds of the nearby river were enough to put me in chill mode almost immediately. We did come across a church group doing a baptism ceremony along the river. That was a first for me and the loudspeaker kind of harsh my mellow, but that was only a small portion of one of the trails. I've lived in a lot of places, across the US and abroad, but for me, the Pacific Northwest has to be the most beautiful. Nothing makes me feel more at ease than these tree-filled mountains and crisp, clean air. I was born and raised here though, so I could be biased. While exploring the hiking trails, we found a sign for something called the Bubbling Geyser. We had no idea there was a second geyser, but based on our experience with the famous Flaming Geyser, we didn't have our hopes up. Surprisingly, and happily, we were dead wrong. The bubbling geyser was one of the coolest things in this park. Created in the same way the flaming geyser was, this also produced methane, but it comes up into a stream. The methane is then broken down by microbes, which then reacts with calcium in the water, producing calcium carbonate. That's the white stuff you're seeing here. If you've been to Yellowstone, this is the same type of thing that happens in the geysers there. The only difference is that the methane here isn't coming out at a high temperature, so you don't get all those cool colors that you do in the geysers at Yellowstone. We spent a good amount of time just admiring this geyser and the beauty of the area surrounding it. 
It was one of the most unique and peaceful locations I have been to in a long time, even while carrying a one and a half year old toddler on my back. At this point though, she was getting tired and it was time to head back to the car. All in all, this park took me for a bit of a roller coaster ride. I was initially excited to see those wide open spaces, the groups flooding the river, and the huge potential for some fun summer parties with friends in the main park. Then the revolution of the inactive park namesake definitely brought me down. But the beauty and tranquility of the trails and the downright cool factor of that bubbling geyser turned it all around again. Overall, I think that I would give this park a 9 out of 10 rating. The potential for fun in the river, parties during the summer, and being able to get lost in the beauty of nature made this a great park. My family and I will definitely be back, even if only for a picnic by the river. So, if you're ever in the area, I highly recommend checking out Flaming Geyser State Park. At least once. I think there's something here for everyone. Thanks for watching guys, and if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. If you're interested in catching the next one, that subscribe button is still there waiting for some love. Also, feel free to let us know in the comments what you thought about the park, what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future, or just say hi. <laughs> Until next time, stay curious and stay hungry. Okay, bye!